I know a lot about this. Um, I've had my own dad actually had dialysis. You know, he used to have dialysis. He had kidney failure, renal failure. And so th- th- this is this is touch of base a lot. And I, I think about this, too, because the, I don't know if you guys know, but also George Lopez, he had uh, renal failure. And I want to say his ex-wife or his wife gave him a kidney and then he ended up still cheating on her or some shit. Like, I don't know. I heard some shit like that back in the day. But this is th- we got to get into this one, man. This is going to be a juicy one. All I got to say is this, man. This is, I mean, this this is some real, this is some real shit right here. This is deeper than just, all I got to say is this. Understand what you're getting yourself into every single time you talk to somebody. Understand, I mean, talk to somebody seriously, like a relationship or just like, you know, uh, a casual relationship or a a real serious one, a long-term one. Understand what, what's at stake understand the other person what their mentality is and what their point what their purpose what their point of life is understand it and know it know it like the back of your hand and call them out for bullshit if they're not on it because i know for a fact i I don't i mean lust you know young people these days young people forever they're not looking at this they don't know they just get into a relationship because oh i don't want to be alone oh i want a boyfriend oh i want to have fun time in the bedroom that's all they get into relationships for young people i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna blame her but you walked yourself into this one that's all i gotta say let's get into the video what's going on it's your boy web back again with another video and today we're gonna take a look at this i mean th- this is a very sad situation i gotta be honest because th- th- this is not money this is not a ring this is not oh you cheated on me this is i gave you life like i'm giving you life yeah, they can survive off dialysis, but their you know their lifespan is cut shorter because of that. But this is this is some shit like I'm giving you life, I'm giving you a fresh start, I'm giving you something that you cannot technically buy. I mean, it's it's a complicated situation if you get into the whole you know dialysis, renal failure, trying to get a kidney, the waiting list. Now, if you know anything about that, you know it's not just as easy as oh gonna go fucking buy one from walmart type shit like it's a whole process and if somebody is willing to donate theirs to you directly then that's you know but not a lot of people willing to do shit like that especially strangers in this situation right here man i gotta hold up i gotta hold up i i gotta hold up before we get into the video, make sure if you're new, subscribe to the damn channel. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. The goal is to get to 250 by the end of the January. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also share the video. Other than that, let's just hop in right back. that correctly who the fuck is in a church group or and goes to a bachelor party in vegas are you kidding me that's red flag number one i'm telling you i said it before and i'll say it again i'll say it to the day that i die and i have a personal experience with this not saying me but people that i know of if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend who's supposedly super religious i'm gonna let you know right now those are the biggest freaks those are the biggest I can't say it on YouTube. Those are the bi- and I, that goes for guys and girls. I'm not just talking about girls. That goes for guys as well. Those are the biggest freaks. And I'll be honest with you. If you if you know anybody that's super religious, that's young. How does that even? How does that make sense? Like literally, Las Vegas is a city of lust. But I'm just saying too much, man. Let's just continue the video. I'm saying. What-
I, and that's why I said I, I don't want to put it all on her. Like, if she's the problem, like, like it, it, it's not her fault, but it is her fault. And it's the dude's fault, too. Because, like I said before, you have to know who you're dating. So you have to understand what their purpose is. And, and I'm telling you, reli- I'm, I'm not trying to say anything. I don't care what you believe in. But religious people, one of the biggest things, and religious young people, they really be extremists out here. They'll be really irrational with the with their beliefs. The, the, just like you saw there. Oh, if God wants us to be together, then you know, we'll be together, we'll find a way back type shit. Like, nah, bro. These people I got stories, man. I, I got personal stories on that. That people that I know of and experiences that I've had where it's like, yeah, th- they're pretty extreme when it comes to their beliefs and and the things I don't know. I don't even want to get into it. But I'm telling you right now. You can look at this from both sides. I would say on her side, what, what that dude thought was like, I got, you know, this newfound life. Like, like I'm, I don't have to go to dialysis anymore. I got a whole ass fresh kidney from this girl. And so he saw it as like, I'm going to live my best life because I used to be, you know, in the, in the damn dialysis center three, four, five hours a day, three days a week, four days a week, however many um getting dialysis and now that i got this new kidney in my body i could do whatever i want and he saw it as an opportunity to go live his life that's one thing and then it, it's so crazy but you know how he rationalized it in his head was like god gave this to me like god sent me this woman to give me her kidney. like you know and that's how he rationalized it in his head but on her side i'm i'm, I mean, I'm, I'm going both sides here on her side it was probably like she was probably in that relationship, she was probably making him feel guilty. Like, oh, you know, well, you're going to stay with me forever now because I, you know, I gave you a part of me or or just like the things that they would say or do or the things that she would say and do on a daily basis. You know, she probably had like that pressure. Like, well, I don't know. That, that's what I'm assuming, because obviously from his point of view, he saw it as a new life. He was like, well, this is a new life. You know, I got this kidney and I can do what I want now. But from her point of view, yeah, she's caring, she's giving, but more than likely, she had definitely used that as leverage against him. <clears throat> I know it, but I would have saw a red flag right there if my girlfriend was super religious and at her little church group went to a bachelor party in Vegas. That's a red flag right there. That doesn't even make sense. That is an oxymoron. That is ridiculous. That is a contradiction, a self contradiction, a religious going to Vegas, the city of sin, sin city. That doesn't make any sense, but. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down below. Would you do this? Would you give a kidney to your boyfriend or to your girlfriend now, knowing that there's a potential where they would cheat on you? And then it's like, damn, I'm one kidney down, and now they're going to live their best life with my fucking kidney. Like, that is insane to think about, and that's beyond. I mean, that's just as bad as, like, the girl taking the kid or girl gold digger take all your money that's just as bad she took like a organ from me and now like that's you know how disrespectful that is that is pretty damn disrespectful but let me know what you guys thought about the video down below make sure if you subscribe to the damn channel we're on the road to a thousand subscribers the goal is to get to 250 by the end of january so make sure you subscribe to the channel and also share the video if you want me to react comment give you some type of advice hit me up at the dawn with speaks gmail.com that's where you can find me I'm telling you right now, when you get into these relationships, understand they have to have a vision and a goal and a purpose because when they're on that purpose and goal, I'm not saying that they won't cheat. I'm not saying that they won't leave you. What I'm saying is their main concentration is going to be on their purpose, on their goal, on what their path. They're not going to be looking to be entertained by other men or other women or whatever the case may be. They're going to be connected to their path and their purpose. And if they do end up cheating on you or leaving you, then obviously they got distracted and obviously they just weren't about their real shit, man. It's been your boy, Webb, man. Peace.